Hi and welcome to the channel, my name is Anas and uh, yeah, the channel got a little upgrade, <clears throat> at least my workbench did. Um, and also the camera mounting, as you can see my hands are much bigger now, you're much closer to the thing. As I found a different way to mount my camera, this is uh, much better I think for building and checking things out, right? So now I just need some better lights, but that will come. It's very dark here, I've only got a few lights up that way. Um, but it's very cozy here at my uh, my desk. So today what we're going to be checking out are some LEDs that I got. And of course this. And I'm just going to do a little pan forward so you can see. You know, I've been like cleaning up my desk. It's looking really nicely here. All kinds of stuff that I need. Loads of props over there. I need to do something better with that. But I'm clearing out. I'm clearing out a lot of stuff. Well, let's see how this, if it just goes back to the same place, pretty much. Sorry about that. Just had to move you around a bit. But we're taking a look at these um, LEDs here. Let me just get you a closer look here. There we go. That one right there. And a little bit back here. So this is also just me testing this new rig out that I made. It's okay. It's, could be better, but <clears throat> so bear with me. But we're taking a look at some really cool LEDs. These are RGB LEDs, um, and um, this is what they look like. And the cool thing is that these are not 12 volt. These are 5 volt. Um, so. Yeah, 5 volt RGB LEDs, and they come in these. You can clip them off at every. You can clip them off at every um, every single one, so you choose how many you want. <clears throat> Excuse me, really neat, really really neat for quads. And just to sort of compare the size of it, this is what I had on before on my little Whoop. And now I just have one, but you can see it's the same size, but it just, there's no, there's no, you know, there's no, what do you call those, PCB or anything like that. It's just, the PCB is this little stuff, plastic, which is really nice, or metal, metal plastic. So it came as a roll, there's a link in the description to these, if you want some for your quads, um came in a roll, I bought a meter of it, it's plenty, I mean I have loads now, hundreds of them, I think, I don't know how many, but uh, let's just do a weight comparison, let's see if this works this time, because uh, last couple of times you couldn't even see the writing, this looks good, this looks good, so this thing from, uh, from Aurora RC is um, it's pretty neat, not out about it. I mean, for bigger quads, this is kind of tiny and doesn't weigh anything, but it weighs six zero point six grams, <clears throat> right? So on a whoop, that's kind of not a big deal. But when I put this one, <clears throat> excuse me, put this one on, it doesn't say anything, but I know it weighs something. It's just my scale is really shit. Oh, now it's just zero point four. Okay, so it's probably zero point five grams. This thing. Let's say that. And then just put this on. So this one weighs between 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.15. That's uh, almost nothing. So of course I just went and put that on inside there. And it's working really nicely, of course. Uh, no issues there. Um, but there's only one on, so you know it just lights up just that one. So, And I could put more on. You know more LEDs inside, but I don't know if I want to do that because it's just gonna you know weigh it, give a little bit more weight. I don't know how much uh, the way. Let's clip off. Um, I was thinking three would be enough instead of four, and uh, yeah. So and three is uh, it's pretty cool. I'll cut off a four just to just to be on the safe side here. So it's good. Uh, it also came with these funky plugs. I don't know about that, but yeah. But that way, you know which one's signal. Signal is the middle one, 
and then you got plus and ground is where the black um <clears throat> if you buy these then the there's this little black arrow here sorry i have to get used to this All right focus it wants to focus on my hand but it doesn't want to focus on this for some reason let's see anyway there's like a little black arrow right there and uh, it's probably because I have all this here that little black arrow <coughs> is um, ground so and that's also the direction so I don't know what this is about I think this is the out to connect it to another one because this is also an inner one it came with and that's obviously power in here came here. Let's take this out I don't need that right so it came like that this must just be part yeah of course power in it you know and then you could put these together like that as you can um what else is there to say about this it's i think it's really neat i haven't seen anybody advertise about using these on their quads uh it also came in this kind of rubbery silicone stuff that i think you could use for wire protection on a bigger quad because this is big and it's big enough to put an XM Plus receiver inside. So that was pretty neat. And it said it wasn't water protected, but it came in this plastic stuff. So that's pretty neat. I like that. <clears throat> so let's just see what four of these weigh compared to the other thing. That could be quite interesting. Just to see if there's actually, I know, you know, every little bit counts. So 0 0.5 grams. 0 0.5 grams, so they weigh pretty much the same. That can't be right. 0 0.6 grams. 0 0.5 grams. Yeah, okay, they weigh a little bit less. But I mean, you, here you can't take one off, right? Here you can choose, you can take one off. So, yeah, interesting. I'm um, still... Trying to, trying to weight reduce this, I think I'm going to be cutting off part of the canopy front, part like all that part right there, um, and down the sides on the inside, because that's just extra weight, so I think I'm going to be cutting it off there. Um, other things that I could do to weight reduce it is uh, the frame, and I've ordered one that's lighter, but it's uh, it won't get shipped until... Uh, what did it say? The 21st of December or something like that. So, yeah. So I won't have that until next year. But this is flying nicely. I might actually have... The props might be coming. The four-bladed ones. That will make a huge difference for this one. That's for sure. Um, but really cool. I just took down some batteries. So you can see that those LEDs, RGB LEDs work. I've set it to red because... Red is... Looks cool on this. right so yeah you can change colors uh in beta flight and you can use the speed b app as well to change the colors of the leds i just set one up zero and then that's it it's very simple to do um so very easy to do also with the crazy b board that i got in here the one without the receiver very easy that was really good. You get the small soldering points. So if you uh, don't have the money to buy one of these, which I love using for that, um, for small parts, then you could buy a USB soldering iron. I'm very happy with the USB soldering iron that I have. But I mean, this, yeah, just needs a bit of a new tip. But this is good. The uh, TST100, I think it is sorry ts100 lovely 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 little thing but i also use my usb one which i'm very fond of this little thing here um it just comes with one of these so yeah you could power it in different ways as well and uh usb and it's got a nice tip nice little you see i've just used that yesterday so um so it's nice and clean um this is actually not as bad as it looks. You just it just can't do lots and lots of soldering jobs one after another.
because it needs to just heat up after each one but use solder to check the heat but I could advise anybody who's not very skilled at soldering um, or ha who's trying to solder small stuff to uh, get one of these because this one can actually get so hot that you burn your you, you take pads off and this one can't but it can get make stuff messy so don't take my advice <laughs> don't take my advice um, I just like using this one a lot lately for some reason uh, especially on these small boards because it just gets hot enough to make a good solder uh, if, you've, if you've got good quality soldering uh, oh, solder wire of course and I use this from Stanol absolute brilliant stuff so yeah very nice it's got lead uh, I don't care if it's really fat, it doesn't matter, because I use the tip to apply uh, the solder anyway. I don't feed it in. I don't, well, sometimes I do, but I don't really need to. So, not with this. This is really good quality. And that made a huge difference getting that uh, in all my soldering jobs. So, spend some good money on some uh, good quality solder wire, and you just won't have all the pain uh, most of the time. Yeah. I'm really satisfied with this thing. Uh, this is great, great addition to the workshop shop. I hope you like it. Uh, looking at it as well and um, getting a little bit closer to the desk. I think that helps a lot when I'm doing these little things. Cause I do a lot of desk uh, videos because I kind of like that. Um, right now it's morning and um, I cleaned up my desk yesterday. So it's nice to sit up here and think about what I should be doing as a project today. It's Sunday. Uh, yesterday I put in the a new camera for the tire because that really needs a new camera it's got a shitty camera uh that i am actually just thinking i'm gonna i'm never gonna use it i'm uh, so i put a three megapixel camera in the uh cadex eos2 i think that's enough it's a nice little lightweight camera when and if i get tired of the tyro i can use the little micro camera for a little micro build as well and uh, there's no need and it's really easy to take on and off i just take the side plates off uh, one, two, three, four, five screws. One of the screws is for the camera. So, um, but I did have to use some of my own screws to get this camera mounted. Actually, he just borrowed some screws from another camera. So, yeah, because they need to be a bit longer to actually get in. Um, because this is a slimmer type. And I used the bracket from the um, Ant camera, Ant light little black thing rubbery thing or clear thing you get just to put around the camera so yeah so that's nice snug in place it's not moving anywhere um and it's just got a plug so everything's got plugs on this it's really easy um so i might use this as a camera testing platform i have a lot of cameras coming although it's not optimal because you can only use these the lens width i didn't think about that because i ordered this one Which is just a proper camera, you know, five megapixel, one point seven millimeter lens, bloody brilliant. Um, full weather cam made in China. Uh, it's just, but as you can see, there's just no way that it's gonna fit in there, right? So, yeah. So you're limited with this frame, although it is a nice robust frame because it's also tightly packed here with the aluminium uh, I haven't broken anything yet and I've had some nasty crashes so no complaints there but that's only on 3S I haven't been flying it on 4S yet so and it needs 4S it does but I'm waiting for batteries um, I've got some but I'm waiting for some different shape batteries um, and that's pretty much it yeah but other than that this is going to be great with a new camera to go flying. I'll actually be able to see where I'm going. You sheen. You idiots. Yeah. So, I think that's 14 minutes again. I seem to make these 14 videos a lot. 14, 15 minutes videos. But, um, yeah. That's... I, I can't really keep it short. I don't know why. Because I'm good at talking just to myself anyway. So yeah, check out the link below to these LEDs. You might like them for your quad. Um, I mean, 
Yeah, you could. could definitely cut them and do something with some really thin wires. And uh, yeah, you could put them all kinds of places, these, you know. You could even put one in the front, right there. Boom. And you got light on your quad. Might try that, actually. Do some thin, thin wiring. And um, at the back, I don't know if you could do anything there. There's already light on the back. But yeah, you can stick them how you want them. Um, I wish they came, you know, with the soldering here. One, two, three. But they don't. It's on. It's right here on the side. And it's really tricky to get to, to the one in the middle. If you can see that. Really tricky to get to that one in the middle because, um, yeah. So you could pre tin it and then cut it, you know, pre tin the round things and cut it. I think that's probably what I'll do next time. But other than that, it's a pretty cool product. Um, addressable LEDs in one pieces that you choose. So you could make some really crazy stuff on your. Let's say on your whoop, your big whoop, cine whoop. Mm -hmm. Because Betaflight Flight can take up to what, 32 LEDs you can power? So go crazy with this stuff. Uh, that's a little shout out to Explicit. <laughs> I hope you watch this. Anyway, FPV, because that would look cool in one of your videos and nighttime stuff. But yeah, stay tuned for more RC related content and stuff like this. And also flight footage, of course. I do all kinds of different stuff, but mainly in wintertime, it's building time for me. I prepare all my stuff for uh, springtime, and then I fly with these. So I also build these, of course. So, yeah, stay tuned, and hit the subscribe button and the annotation bell so you know when I'm uploading content. I kind of do it a la random, because when I have time, I'll do it. And it's not my full-time job, so I just do this because I can't stop. And, um, yeah, and... Don't forget to leave a comment. It really helps the channel. And share and all that other good stuff. And uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. And fly hard.